lot about radial engines, and unlike the engines in our cars, well, there's a whole lot more power and, of course, a whole lot more capability. This was their first multi-engine bombers. A bomber, as we watched Champagne Gal climb to altitude from our left. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, on Billy Bob Mitchell, Champagne Gal. Is approaching a Japanese airfield at treetop level, 350 miles an hour with 56 50 caliber machine guns ablaze, as well as bombs raining down from the bomb bay as the formation passed overhead. during the European theater of opera. Replace them with black painted broomsticks as a deterrent visually to the enemy. 1B25, as part of that raid, experienced excessive fuel consumption, turned north after dropping its bombs and landed in Vladivostok, Russia, where the crew was interned. The 15 other B25s were able to make it to China. And some crews even bailed out or ditched their aircraft. Inbound again from the left, 300 miles an hour. Here's the B-25. The original design of the B-25 was mainly for level bombing with machine guns installed only to defend the airplane. Champagne Aviation Museum are most pleased to salute our veterans. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in saluting all of our veterans that attends with us here today. Citizens National Bank in Kingsford, to Toyotetsu America, Hinkle Contracting Company, First Southern National Bank and Speed Wash Car Wash, to the Lake Cumberland Regional Hospital and Coca-Cola of Somerset. We want to extend a thank you to Harvest Digital, Lake Cumberland Rentals LLC, EHA CPAs and Advisors, the City of Burnside, South Kentucky Rec, and Burnett Family Dental. Thanks to LB Schmidt and Associates. Chad, Smallwood State Farm, Deep Golf Cart Sales and Rentals, Limestone Manufacturing.